Oh, we're doing red perk. You good? You good? You fine? Nah, I certainly hope so. Ah, uh, we are back. We are here. We're ready to rock and roll. With a return to Red Dead Redemption. Um, yeah, but just for the the slightly late start, we were weighing up as to what we were going to do. Because it was like, do we go in and play this when we're going to be doing a new game on Wednesday? Yeah, it was one of those things that was like, we're going to be doing a new game on Wednesday and we're going to be finishing that until we get it. Because it's new, as opposed to this, which has already been up for a while. So it was like, do we do something today? But we decided we would. PvPVE. Hmm. Don't want the PvP part. There's just PvE that'd be fun. Fucking battle passes. But anyway. Um Hi. Right. So We're gonna jump back in if the game will play. Okay, it just had an update there. See? Usual dinging of making sure things work. So we'll jump in, we'll, uh, take care of, I'll play a bit as we were doing last time. I actually don't remember what it was. But we're about 40% way through of the game, which is not that bad. There's a few, like, we're doing the side missions and stuff as we go. But it'll be things like maybe the hunting doesn't get done as much. So we know to carry more shit would be so much better. We need to keep note, though, of what we need. Because I can never remember. The bolt action rifle, though, is really good for the hunting. So here we are. Ah, uh, yeah, we're having to hunt stuff. Bertram said that Magnifico is camping somewhere in the woods. Who's Magnifico again? Ah, uh, yeah. I remember. Let's go, bro. Now, where is our camp from here? That's always kind of a thing. That's a, fuck me, it's all the way over there. Alright, we're going to actually head there first. 
I know that he's it's kind of close, but yeah. we've got some hides and stuff that we'd probably rather go and drop off. We don't want to lose them. Yeah, Jose. We saved from the left last time. Seriously. All right. Well, we're giving the horse a boat kick. We should probably eat something too. Can need some beans. I'll patch us up. Of course, that fall did just sort of fuck us up. So we're going to have to go for just a little trek. Give the horse a chance to recover a little bit from the fall. Just now. Yeah, they're both twos. Test them gators. Closer to said gators. Don't know how close you need to get to study the fucking thing. I don't want to get too close to it. Are there any in the water? They're in the water. Inside. All right. Your skin, teeth, and big game meat. Using crap and cooking. Use a bow or a long scope rifle for a clean kill. Study the snake. I don't have a shot. 
short on that book. Better? I've all just ran. the other one in the war because I know what's there how did I get across this river there's a bridge over there Welcome to Le Moyne. Sixth gold watch. Need the rifle cartridges. Need the money. Go. Fucking little mine raiders, man. Platinum band. There's a witness. You get the fuck out of here. Go mind your own goddamn business. Alright, let's go get that uh, alligator. Because I'm pretty sure we need the alligator height for something. Remember what? We need an alligator height. Here are the alligators. Alright, so let's get in this one. Hoping we can take a few. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. This is where we get attacked from the war. Very gracefully done, Arthur. Ah, yes. So, we can only harvest one. So it's this one that we want. The good ones you sell for money, the perfect ones you use for crafting. And this one's perfect, so... Go. 
No. The snakes were perfect. But I don't know if we can actually... Rifle's too strong. So you have to use a bow on them. It's a little bit shit. And we can only carry one alligator skin, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, so, yeah, let's get back to camp. front of me. Yeah, we got a bunch of heights, so we can go donate them, sell them, whatever it is that we need to do. We could have taken the station coach thing as well to go drop that off at the fence, but eh. I'd rather get the pelts dealt with. The Nakota. Yep. I love those revolvers. They're dirty, dirty guns. You're okay, horsey. Mr. Pearson. Of course. Why are you dressed as a sheriff? Did I ask uh, anything about it? I haven't received anything from you in a while, no. Mr. Morgan. It was just uh, local, local oh, problem. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll be able to make you something know. out of this. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from the Ah, uh, now I can turn this into something special. I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being foolish. Thank you, Arthur. It was an old thing. Okay, so what can we do with that? I've jotted down a few things that I think could be... I need a perfect elk pelt. And donate more carcasses. Perfect deer, elk, and panther. Deer, bison, raccoon. Deer, boar, iguana. Yeah, beaver. I suspect that alligator skin was for something else. <laughs> Uh, 
four pelts, camp tables, the chuck wagon. Moose antlers, wolf carcass, perfect snake skin. You'll need to bring me the right materials first. This Beaver, muskrat, and fox. Cool. Okay, we don't have any of them. A few changes never hurt. And there's a reward over at my tent. Uh, open? Alright then. Ah. We can slick our hair back now. Okay, we've gotten some sort of reward. Don't know what. Can't take gun oil. Do we need to shave? There we go. It's like back here that you don't really see because he's wearing a hat. Hello, Arthur. Nah, let's go talk to whoever it is over here. Whoever B is. Can't sprint, so it takes forever just to get over there. There we go. Hey, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. That's ah, Bill. I mean, I'm trying to get there. something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. Well, it's, it's just one of them things. Off. Very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. Ah. So, Bill, it's time for a show. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Does that mean they didn't do anything? Didn't put research into any of it. Alright. Let's go. Nothing's gonna look shifty as us walking in with a yes, bandolier, I'm sure. The data, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. It's gonna go really sideways. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> okay, let's move out. Three dynamite. We're going to do it quick and quiet using dynamite. I'm sure that won't go wrong. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. 
once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? Mm, it's gonna know. go sideways. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Can we blow the shit out of the, the uh, vault? Charles hit the wagon. Yeah, was that even our fault? Dealt with punch ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm I mean, small scale, well, supposed to we were there and shit just went sideways. I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Of course he wants a medal. He doesn't want a medal. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through. We rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. I mean, yeah. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. He can have enough. A bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. I feel like we should be. So. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done. It's a long ride. I just want to pick the pace up a little bit. You 
Hello. Where's the bank? All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Ah, can't draw my gun. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. Apparently people work with Even that one. You long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Come on, open the door. Open the goddamn ball! Open it! Hurry up! Too goddamn slow! How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Come on, let's pick up the pace here, my oh, man. There you go. Out of my way. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I. Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God. Now what? Guys, you keep getting bonked. Crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. Crack open the safes. Loot the safe. Hurry up in there. How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. It just takes too long. No. We're cracking all this. Don't count your chickens 
just yet. Please, let me go. I will not say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Hey, this is good money. Actual, like proper safe cracking. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Come on. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty tremendous take. I think. Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? This doesn't look shifty at all, though. Just. Three long black trench coats walking out. It's a good take. Well, now they know it was us. They didn't before. Straight along this road, okay. Oh, we are out of there. Murdering a lot of them. We got more coming in. You want that? Huh?
We were well clear of that. U.S. Marshals. All right. I think we lost them. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're patient. That was a really good haul. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't that was several thousands. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is down. Idiot. Yeah. There's a continuation. Unexpected. I thought it was more like a general heads up. Is. Imagine it won't be too far. Kind of shitty if the uh, mission had to do all that and then it's like, oh, by the way, you're going to go to the other side of the map now. Oh, hard right. Yeah. Oh, that's so much money we've got there. the amount. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Correct. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing were something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You mm. should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? That's some really shall, cold line. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. So we managed to do that entire bank job stealthily. But I just blow the shit out of the place. Good job we bought that safe cracker. Did wonder what the purpose of it was. Now we know. Twenty grand. What, you will... Look at all the safes. Headshot, five minute woman. Get to the Den's ranch within a couple of minutes. Seven percent accuracy. Don't take any health items. Nice. Yeah. 
total take was twenty thousand dollars. So ten grand goes to the gang, then we split twenty five each. I mean that's still decent. That was a good haul. I guess the debt was involved in it then. Hey. Hmm. Still, we have quite a lot of money now. Uh, Everyone's camp's been improved. Just a bolt for the camp. The camp horse station has been unlocked. Recall your main horse to camp or access stabled horses quickly. And we're still left with 1800. So that's. That's everything. Good evening, Arthur. I am. All right, what else do we have? We've got the greys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Actually, that's the point. We should go see if we can. I'm going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed. This is quite some fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. All right. Morgan, so. Bring me some materials, and I'll be glad. So I need elk. I need bison for the provision. Okay. So where does one find elk? Is that elk? Or is that elk? What's elk? That's elk. What's a moose? That's probably what we're looking for. I think that's bucks and deers. But we need a buck, don't we? I've already got a buck felt. We need an elk felt. I need more carcasses too. So we need a couple elk felts. Bison. Okay. So we need elk. 
let's assume that up around here. Just kind of by strawberry. Yeah, I'm gonna think about it. So we're gonna take the fast travel to strawberry. Manka, you crazy fucker. Because at the moment, part of our problem is, like, we can't really carry much stuff. So, if we can upgrade the satchels, we'll be able to carry a bit more. He's giving me shit and I'm not allowed to hit him. That gets us. Let's make a camp. Yeah, sure. We'll make ourselves some dinner. I like his, uh, when you go to sleep, the eye rub that he's tired, when he hasn't done that any other point. Ah, let's tear down camp. Because only you can prevent forest fires. That's how that works, isn't it? Alright, so... Up around here, we should have elk. I 
Circle fours as well. Oh, need to get closer to the horse. There we go. Yeah, we'll take the We'll take the bow as well. That's a bird. Closer to study the piggies. How close do I need to get to study the piggy? That's good, because we need the boar as well. And then we got pork chops for dinner. Point my let's study this thing. Use a repeater for a clean kill. Well, shit. I'm glad I was kind enough to come back there. Now, ah, let's skin the fox. Oh, shit. Come on, get off the horse. There we go. And then store it on the back of the horse. There we go, very nice. Alright, so we already have a horse. That's not what we're looking for. No, not a horse, a pig. You go. That's a hawk. We are for elk. That's specifically why we came to this region. And there's elk. So we're in the right place. Do we need to hunt elk? Use a long scope rifle for a clean kill. Okay. I tell deer. Let's 
Getting that bad boy. Ah, but you can only have one. Now, I would say... Guess. That... The Panthers can probably get away with it. That, I think, is a mountain lion. That's a cougar. Where do we find a panther? Can't say we've come across any of them yet. We've got snakes, we've got coyotes, alligators. Not seen any panthers yet. Pretty sure there's a mountain lion. It'll be too cold up this way for panthers. Panthers will be more south, I think. Uh, Alright, well, let's head back to camp. So if we just turn around and go this way, we can go get some more pigs. Yep. I think we're needing more than just one for uh, wild boar. And this should be pig region. Yeah. Turkey again. Is that a piggy? That's a piggy. Maybe too far out there. It's good to know that we uh, can get the rifle shots. More pork chops? Ah, let's go looking for another pig. Because the meat's really good from hunting. For all your cores and stuff, that's it's very, very good at that. Little bunny rabbit. Shrubs. I hate hunting rabbits.
shit. Didn't even mean to fire that. There I go. That's the skunk. Oh, where did I actually go? Alright, skin the tiny rabbit. That can't be the effective way to skin the rabbit. A good rabbit belt. Well, fuck. That's what we wanted. More of these. Ah, oh, fucking pig. Shoot you just for that. Coyote went over this way, so let's try and hunt that down. Fast. these fuckers go? They go up? Or they go down? Don't know but I seem to have lost it entirely. They must have gone up. Must have. Use a repeater for a clean kill. Where the fuck did it go? Who's there? Oh, they're coming back. Very graceful, Arthur. Oh, the other one's there. I just can't get a clean shot on it. There's so much grass and shit that they keep disappearing in it.
Um, so horses. Went up and over the rocks. God damn time. Oh, fuck's being wooden me all over the place. As soon as it wasn't able to hide in the grass, we could get it. So a varmint rifle works on them. Still do the raccoon. The wee little trash panda. Didn't we see a rabbit go somewhere? So we weren't close enough. Yeah, I'm on horsey. Because we need more rabbit heights. What was that? Perfect raccoon, good enough for me. I really hope that's my varmint rifle. Yeah, it was. I was going to say, that seems like a big boom for a varmint rifle. Perfect raccoon pill. Standard skunk. White tailed deer, I don't think we need anything for them. Just eat that there venison. I 
I think we've done the deer. I don't think we need them. Yeah. There's very much the elk that we were after. There we go. May have to go get other stuff at a later point, but should be okay. It was elk, that was the important thing. We got a perfect elk hide. We got a bunch of other ones, we got some piggies yeah. and things. So we'll go give them to Mr. Pearson and see what he can do with them. And if we then need to get other stuff still. Beep, beep, come through. Pronghorns. Okay, Is that a thing we need to? Maybe. of horses. White tail deer. Yeah. More white tail deer. Yeah, we don't need any of these. If we're fortunate enough to maybe spot some rabbits or something along the way, we can try and pop them. Horses, camps, something drinking. Pronghorn dole, but it's only a two star. the easiest way to do it. Into the satchel you go. Yeah, the other was a two star. Fuck it, we'll scan it anyway. Oh, 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 medicine? Oh, thank you. 
you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. Need a lift? Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You'll be all right. Thank you. So there's a snake or something nearby. You could have made the horse dip as well. You're a brave girl. You're a brave girl. Three star. Now we're going to assume we can use the rifle. But I don't know. I don't want to lose them. Uh, please tell me it's not going to be a massive one. Tell me that we can just unfuddle it and put it over the back of the horse. Yes, we can. Nice. Come here, Barty. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. The other two. Hey, it'd be good to be able to take that to Mr. Pearson because we actually need to get some corpses and take them to him. I mean, it's been a fairly successful hunting trip so far. Yep. And away go the ducks with the geese. Imagine we're actually probably yep. kind of close. Did we just hit a bird or something? Yeah, there's a girl. Enter in the mine. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Law finds me, they'll get near fool about you. Better believe it. Your men are gone. 
You ain't all that scary locked up in that wagon. Oh, you think you're better than me? You're a killer. Yes. Why don't you stop squawking and save me shooting you too? You shoot a prisoner in a cage? You no. think this makes you a hard case? Huh? I'm already in a cage, god damn it! Hey! You shoot that all right! Glad to be out of there! Guess we about even. You stay out of Lemoyne. Fucking Lemoyne Raiders, man. We're just going to dip before that cart decides to do something. Oh, is that right next to camp? Maybe not our best play. So we'll see if we can find just some livestock. Sonic Satchel. Increase the carrying capacity for all types of tonics from shop bought crafted versions. And our elk and panther for the kit satchel. Provisions we need bison, iguana, and we have beaver pelt for the valuables. Beaver pelt would be good. Badger and squirrel. I won't be able to make that for you without what is your smell? You deserve it, Mr. Morgan. Cougar, ram, ox. Mm. Four pellets for John's lodgings. With tabletops. Alright, cool. So from here, don't really know if we have any kind of creatures that we can go get. Yep. We'll head onto the road. Maybe there's some rabbits or something. I would assume they would count. We don't need to just have the massive one that we chuck on the back. Something just went this way. We could. Yeah, 
I think was the varmint rifle. the shot. The whiff. I did it again. I fucking did it again. There we go. Fuck now. Didn't go that far. All right, do we have anything else? Not that I'm seeing right now. There's not an awful lot of eating in a tiny squirrel. Maybe we can find a few rabbits or something. Oh, shit. Oh, you can only skin a wild boar, you can't pick up the boar. That's annoying. That's a badger. Rifle for a clean kill on a badger. We definitely want to make sure we get that shot. As soon as we can see it coming out of that grass. Because we actually don't have a shot just now. Come here, little badger. Way out shit. I'm 
read that badger. By God, we're going to get it. All right, let's pick up the raccoon. Go store on the horse. No, 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 no. Where'd the badger go? Fuck, we lost the badger. It's gonna have gone up this way, right? Okay, there's more stuff up here. What's up here? Here, badger, badger, badger. Where are you? It's a rabbit. It's a deer. Fuck, I got no dead eye, and this is kind of posing a problem. Oh, don't need them. Coyote, 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 no coyote. Damn it, I need that badger skin. I was really a fucking unfortunate. Is that a rat? Oh, there's a muskrat. Okay, we're going to stalk this one because we need a muskrat as well. Come here, little one. I'm not going to hurt you. I mean, I am. But they don't need to know that. Alright, we're going to skin the muskrat hat. Oh, that weird, just we're tearing the skin straight off it thing again. Maybe not. I mean, okay, so here's the thing, right? Not being a hunter myself, it's not really a thing we do here. Is that how you would skin something like that? Do you just literally hold it up and yank? Seems odd. I forgot to be like a knife involved. A you know, actual skinning. Not just the old whiffed and tug. There's more coyotes. That's a fox. I got excited there for a second. I thought that may be the badger. Hmm. 
there's tracks just everywhere. Well, we're following something unknown, which would make me think it's probably going to end up just being our squirrel. Not quite what we're looking for. Nope. Coyotes be a zoom in. That's a little bunny rabbit. It's probably actually not a bad one to get either. Shit falls all over the place. That up. to stop highlighting but it's all plants. I'm trying to do a little bit of hunting around the camp so we can get the the satchel unlocked. It's proving surprisingly difficult though. I haven't got it about the badger. I definitely wanted that. Pick and examine the herb. Okay, let's go into the woods a little bit. Just another squirrel, more squirrels. Is it just squirrels that's kicking about in here? Maybe head down to the water, there might be something better around there. You know, things have to come and drink in all that. Oh, hey, squirrel. Squirrel. But we are not finding a lot of stuff. Is it the time that we're at? Does it even work that way? I feel like it does.
There's more squirrels and shit. There should be a box right there. Fuck, where'd I go? No. I think we lost it. Oh. We have things. Oh, they're both uh, three stars. I think we need them. But we're going to use them. Can we get the one that's floating in the water? I think we need to push it. Oh, no, it's sinking now. Okay, so that one's gone. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. And then that gives us four. We've already donated one, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just store that one there. That's it. Shit in the war. So that was a fairly successful hunting trip. We've got a rabbit, we've got a couple of raccoons, we've got a deer. And of course, there's a shit ton of animals right there. Pearson again. I think that did it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Crafting upgrades. Satchel. Well, there you go. So now we've got that unlocked. But we needed that perfect beer. Beer? I said misread badger and deer there. We needed that badger pelt. We need a perfect squirrel as well. We bison. Guano. We need a beaver. So we need a badger and a fucking squirrel. What do I need the muskrat for? I need it for something. Uh, 
Ah, we need it for the seat covers. So you need, I mean beavers. Keep my eye out for some good material. Have we found beavers? That's raccoons. That's probably wolves, I assume. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, Alright. Well, we need bison, so we could go up there. It's a bit of a trek up. I mean, it's actually not that bad. Let's follow on the train line. Then up the cliff there. Let's go do this mission. We can work on some more hunting stuff later. And away we go. Yeah, horsey. Yeah. So I guess beavers are the next one we're on the lookout for. Which seems like this should be in a woodland area by rivers. Can't use weapons, it cause trouble. I mean, we could cause trouble. I don't think you got any idea about the I actually have no idea what condition my weapons are currently in. Can't cause trouble in Kaliga Hall. My horse is filthy. What do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Sheriff's order. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. Some recently deputized, you see. Deputized? I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Oh, what? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Works with us. Oh, it's pulsing. And then we're about to stumble upon his list affair. Excuse me, friend. 
We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. Stop twitching at him. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Mm. Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. <laughs> love tends to be I like how Romeo and Juliet is always used She's a in stories. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaite's for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry for your... Tomorrow did turn out fine, then it goes shit again. I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang fuses. Seems unseen. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Sneak into the ground. Oh, fuck. Where have we, uh, where have we gone here? Wraith with managed down there. Alright. Where's our horse gonna come galloping from? There you go. Gentlemen! You'll do nothing. Yeah. Can't use weapons to call trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Is this on their grounds? It seems like it's on their grounds. Sneaking. Trying to sneak. That looks like the gazebo. Guy's just walking away from us. He can stay there, we don't need to worry about him. Why, yes, I am. 
I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift, but we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm. it's not from me, it's from uh from Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so strange. Mm. <laughs> yes, he's a little he strange, is. but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left, but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> Families are, are, there's something else. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That amuses that me. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if we see Bo again, will you give this to him? Ah, uh, back and forth. Sneak back out. Ah, God damn it. Now it's just red on red. It's getting fainter. Yeah, it's getting fainter. And escape it. I was like, we did something wrong? Complete within three minutes. Fuck off. Come on, horsey. Alright, and then go back to him. Yeah. There's the horse. Yeah, up. And ride. Alright, so we're basically playing at Roman and Juliet again. In yet another game. Yeah, what? Turn. There you go. To learn how to do that drift sliding. Sound like piggies. Called Gavin. Is that just like a piss take, or like I saw the memes about Gavin? You know me, I'm on a 
official business for the family. All right. Family. Yeah, I saw the memes with Gavin. Is Gavin like an actual quest line? Is there a person or is it just some dude who's walking around America yelling for Gavin? Sup, bull peep. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. Hmm. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. <laughs> My God. What a woman. <laughs> She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. Hello there. My family, we've still got some money. Hello there. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. You better get going. I appreciate that there, Follow Tyro. How you doing? Man's up, all right. Oh. We're following Bull Peep. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Go around the property and take the road to town. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're just, you know, matchmaking, doing Romeo and Juliet, you know. The usual. Sort of. So we've played it before, but we've never finished it. So the aim is to be our first full playthrough. But it was a, it was a while ago. It was when it first came out. I got it on the PS4, and we played to maybe Saint Denis. Uh, that's it. Never finished the game. Don't know how it ends. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something. What was Hobbin's boat in history like in the States? I know British version of it. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before madam well just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves and i'm sure you'll feel right at home so Gotta you want go? me to shoot things all right we can do that all right ladies can i load up the shotgun we know our song is a good one and we oh god we're singing he's a pure one yes ma'am let liberty reign <laughs> well mothers wives housekeepers and daughters because the food and we fetch Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the back of Rose, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. I thought you were supposed to be Arthur Callahan. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Very good. This is it, Floored. I can't go faster. Message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. 
Piece of like no one. Yep. I am pretty sure it's going to get exciting too. Four off the cliff. Ah, spoken like the true southerner. Songs. Ladies and gentlemen, for all of us. You missed the entire first part of it. I think. Equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is not It's unnatural for women to think and vote. That's witchcraft, that is. Founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. This philosophy is dependent on what the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you Darling cousin. Like what are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Just shoot something. Some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always love Bo, your little Where are we just leaving? Oh. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, right? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Then feel free to go. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot in voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Boyd. Never take it seriously. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. He's telling you, though. That doesn't count, Arthur. The sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with. You know? Ah, you mean dealing with Arthur Morgan. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets. I like the fact that they say, you know what, we need to have a ginger character. I just make him my addition, it'll be fine. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a dog. That seems like the most perfect no thing to do. Have him drink, not be able to shoot. Now, we'll call him Sean, yeah. Oh shit, you're going that way. This is awful. Hmm. I heard about this old battlefield that no one goes to. You mean the one that the Lemoyne raiders use for weapon movement? Yeah. bastards, my cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will as soon as I have enough money when my family we have money. I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call us? Yes. Mm. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. And how much did we get from being a coach driver? A what? A little? 30 bucks. Yay? 
Complete within four minutes. Okay, my I mean, there isn't much to it. All right, back to camp to go talk to whoever is. Who's A? Us? There's another A. Oh, turn the other way. There you go. Okay, so normally it's better than Tyro. It took me a second to remember about the whole circle thing not closing when you do the dual fire. Usually it's a lot better. That was atrocious. I will hold my hands up freely and say, Dear God, man, why are you shooting like that? That's that's that difference between sometimes it's on point and sometimes it's a blind man on cocaine. That's the aim that we had at that point. Saying that, maybe it's just an off day because we were whiffing shots against a raccoon earlier. Which sounds like it should be code for something, but it's really not. We're trying to hunt a perfect raccoon. We whistled at it, it stuck its head up, we pulled it to the right. We found it later. Whistled on it, it lifted its head, we pulled it to the left. It took me three attempts just to shoot a fucking raccoon that wasn't moving. Clearly, we're having a great day. All right, let's go see who we're talking to here. Who is Mr. A? Apparently we've had a gift. But I don't really know of what. It's a woman. Who are you? Abigail, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what's with the flickering here? What's going on? Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So, how are you liking life as a law? So, go talk to Abigail, who tells you to go talk to Jose. See it. We stick out here either way. Now we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Parker. You all right, girl? I like how Arthur is trusted enough that he can basically just talk back to Dutch all the time. Uh, right, let's just quickly give this a restart. Uh, the flickering's weird. I want to make sure it's the game rather than my computer's about to shift the bed.
Because that would be expensive if it was. Oh, I totally do have a driver update. I've got a driver update that I have not touched. Yeah, you can see it there. Not going to do anything with it because I'll need to restart potentially. Or it'll fuck up the stream or something. It's fucked it up in the past, so we'll do that afterwards. But yes, drivers. That'll be what it is. Yeah. It could be. It may be because I tried a thing as well. Which apparently is not working on my stream deck. Yay! So I was watching uh, one of Pirate Software shorts. And he was talking about... That Twitch has a built-in editor to basically make shorts that no one uses. Um, I knew you could make, like videos you could clip stuff but i didn't know anything beyond that but people who clip stuff you can then turn into shorts and you can link a tiktok and a youtube account and immediately upload that stuff from there by making it and it does all the scaling you probably saw it uh and it's like oh that's super super fucking clever because to be able to broadcast to both twitch and youtube at the same time i lose my ability to basically do the backtracks that we were making our shorts with so there's a function on your stream deck to be able to link your uh, you, your blah, blah, your Twitch thing to it, and you should be able to control it. So that's what I tried to do, and it isn't working. So to do it, I have to be able to clip it through there. Possibly my phone would work. But because I then did that stuff and minimized the game to be able to do it, it started flickering after. I looked at that. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. Uh, we're going to write that anyway. Now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, the thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still. And we're going to sell it back to them, I which the just seems like it's going to go terribly. The trouble to return their stolen goods deserves some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they I like the trees. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. The Romeo and Juliet stuff. Well, I mean, it could hurt. You think they're of use? that in the back there moonshine my fine fellow may i have a word with the man of the house the man of the house is a lady mrs catherine braithwaite may Perfect. i speak with her i want to discuss a business opportunity i mean no harm no harm at all you may happily shoot me if i do <laughs> okay okay well, she's at the house hi you just not want to walk down there We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Guy's just gonna hitch a ride on the back. What you want? 
what you want. Out in the hills, thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. The mission in Chapter 3 is most of the time so boring. I mean, they do seem a bit slower than some of the other stuff. Well, with us possessing it, and I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. That's mine. It's got your name on it. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. Give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's oh. an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Alright, next stop. Oh good, it turned it around for us. Here we go. Take the moonshine to the next place. I mean, I think it would be a, like, because you're not allowed to be using guns, it is a lot calmer. But, is there not some sort of mission where you shoot up one of the plantation houses? I hear that mission is supposed to be really good. I don't really remember it. It was years ago that I played this. Oh, shit. Uh, also, to anyone who's working, I think I was very vague in my title about the new game we're going to be playing on Wednesday. Uh, so, we're going to be checking out uh, Snow Day. South Park Snow Day. Uh, which is the new game in the the new kids series. Never heard of that game. Uh, it's coming out tomorrow, but I have to work. Um, so it's continuing you as the new kids with the stick of truth and the fractured butthole. The stick of truth is amazing. I haven't, fin haven't played the the fracture bottle yet. But it's a South Park game, so. I'm hoping it should just be an entertaining thing. Keep it and stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I remember parts of it. Some of it, not so much. I remember things like knowing what horse is the better one to get. Um, things like that. There's there's a few things here and there that I do recall, but others not so much. I remember there is something about shooting up the plantation, but I can't remember what it is. Did you do the Santony robbery already? No, we haven't made Santony yet. Ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. We've, we've gone down there. Uh, because we did the stuff with Blackfoot. But we haven't had the story take us there yet. We've done the Valentine bank heist. That was fun. That was a lot of money.
Hmm. I mean, I'm enjoying the game. It's just one of those ones that's very, like, time-consuming. But that's kind of the point of what we're doing. Like, we we finished Skyrim before we did this. So we did Skyrim, then we did this one. Then there'll be something else on the list that's going to be a big, long game. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. Oh, hey, boy, business. A gift. Bounty. It's a silly little gift for you. But I see a gift for you. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Just keep them going. You will catch us all. So drink up. I'm having to actually manually pour it. I do appreciate all the uh, drunken antics in the game though. I mean, you could not. You know. Drink up, drink. Drink up, me hearties, yo ho. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right in the fucking face. God, this guy can shoot a bit as well as I can. You should be doing something there, Arthur. Ah, uh, yeah.
He's down. Yeah, the snow part was a bit slow. I will say. It was a bit slow, but I mean, it's led into an okay part. The game is massive, though. Like, there's so much. And playing it, I'm like, do I want to check out Grand Theft Auto V? I know most people play the online stuff nowadays, but is the actual game worth playing? And then, with 6 coming out, Curiosity is saying, check it out for the sake of, rumoured, a $2 billion game. What would that even be? But, I don't know. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. Chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fitz. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> Mm. I'll go speak to Dutch. The role where he had to just say nothing. Just had to pour drinks. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. That seemed like a shot. The other, their mortal enemies, the brave. What do you mean, Scots, degenerates, and drunkards? Rolling, we believe. They don't have to necessarily go together. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying they don't have to. Of Romeo and uh, I wouldn't worry about Grand Theft Auto V. No one cares enough about the story to watch it. Yeah, it is the online stuff people want to see. Lawman in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor too. Now you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. Yeah, with the online stuff is mostly role-playing that people want to see. Other than that, it's just toxic people just trying to group. Yeah, that's what I've always experienced. us that done it, and not the other lot, will be long gone. Think of it as payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Advertising the new American art. Complete with at least 90% accuracy. Oh no, we, we absolutely fucked that. Alright, so we've got two more missions which involve Jose and John. Let's. Let's have a break with Manor. Where even is our horse? Tree Bartholomew. There we go. 
go. And here is the road out. Yeah. On the road again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. Point Stringy, Point Venison. We got plenty of meat to do all that. I'm trying to decide just what I'm going to end up doing next though. Once we finish Red Dead. Like, do we go for Star Wars? Do we go for Witcher? Do we go for one of the other myriad of games that we have on this list? Part of me kind of wants to do uh, Nice Hood Public. I think I might do that. Because I fucking love that game. What's on the list? Oh, on the list we have uh, Nice Old Public, Bioshock, Fallout 3, Oblivion, we've done Skyrim, we've got Halo, because I've never really played them. Uh, me and Val were playing through them, we got from, we did 1, 2, 3, and we started ODST, so we've never done ODST and we've not done Reach. Uh, we've got Doom 2016 and Eternal. We've got Witcher 3, we've got the Lord of the Rings games, the Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. Never finished them. Uh, never even played Resident Evil. Never played Final Fantasy. Red Dead and maybe like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Because I've never played them either. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. Alright, that's enough. Move along now. Resident Evil would be. Um, as I said, I've, I've never, never played them at all. But then... Uh, please come in, sir. Would that be a better suit to like a Halloween? September or October sir? type thing? A gentleman to see you. Oh, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwood. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big. I love to play a Resident Evil Village game. Never, I, I don't know anything about them. I've seen the movies, which apparently are incredibly far from the games, so they're not even a vague reference point. Yes, we can take care of that. Apart from, like, the mansion in Raccoon City is kind of accurate. A question of money? <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. All right, let's go, Sean. Can I drive? No. <sighs> ah, yeah, I forget right, you, you Americans drive on the right. Uh, you better do extensive research and I mean a lot. You seriously can't okay, wing it when it comes to Elden Ring and Dark Souls. You can punish yourself if you wing it. See, I don't want to have to do background information on a game. Because that's how the games would have been when it came out. Like, you would have sat down, you would have played it. You wouldn't have gone and done a fucking research to know how to play the game. But also, I find that kind of shit rage-inducing, so I'm not sure if that would be fun to watch. But that, the thing is, though, but that's how it would have been when the game first came out. 
You would have sat down, you would have picked it up and played it. You would have learned as you go. You wouldn't have had all the information to just go and look at it to know how you're supposed to play it. That wouldn't have existed at the start. So if you're doing it now, that may be what's expected now, but if you want to do it like it was when it first came out, having never played it, would you not just go in blind? This guy's got the same voice as Shergoroth in Skyrim when you're trying to get the Wabberjack from him. Uh, they released books with the games back then. Usually bought the game and bought a walkthrough book. Ah, uh, okay. But there's a shit ton of other stuff. And then we've got... This year, there's a handful of games that we are going to be eyeing up. There's obviously um, Snow Day. That's coming out tomorrow, but we'll be playing it Wednesday because we have to work. Uh, there's Star Wars Outlaws later on this year. And there is Manor Wards, which I'm very much looking forward to Manor Wards. When the game first released, Tyrell. This isn't one of those back in my day moments. That'll come later. That shit happens a lot. Uh, but if you can't handle a God of War fight, then you'll lose it in Dark Souls. You've got to learn movesets. It wasn't so much that I couldn't handle the God of War fights. It was just some of the stuff was kind of, like, annoying. The Valkyrie was the, the main issue. Because she had an attack that you couldn't avoid. Like, literally, there was no way to dodge the attack, but it also did, like, all your health. You couldn't move backwards from it, you couldn't block it, you couldn't dodge it, you couldn't do anything. She did that attack and she just hit you, and it was like every fourth attack was that move. So you got absolutely un demolished. That was what the problem with that God of War fight was. Because we were able to handle other Valkyries and stuff like that, no problem. And we were able to do Fallen Order, stuff like that. But to me, there's just not a huge amount of fun in a game that is purposely hard. Which is why they are on the list but have question marks next to them. Okay, it's like, do I actually want to put myself through this? Well, no. But, like, that's the closest thing that I've played, I mean. You know, you had to take on stuff that had unavoidable attacks. You had to get the parries right. You had to do the dodges right to get a few hits. Like, in terms of how close it is compared to other games I've played, that is the closest. Why I use it as an example. Because it's just, like, certain enemies as opposed to the entire fucking game. So, yeah, I'm unsure about it. But there's things like, as I said, Manor Lords, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds like a super interesting game. Sounds right up my street. Um, Whoa, hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? So, well, they I... Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally. So, yeah, we've got Man Awards, we've got Star Wars Outlaws, which apparently people are saying is giving off very much uh, Red Dead Redemption vibes, but in the Star Wars universe, which I can sort of get behind. Um, but there isn't a huge amount that's got our attention this year. We've got a bunch of stuff on our wish list for when it becomes available. But there isn't anything massive. Unless there's any more kind of like sleeper hits that come along that no one's expecting and then it's like, oh, you need to play this. And given that you had Power World and Helldivers in very quick succession come out where it was like, this is a fun, different game. I'm totally going to try this. This could be the year of the indie game. Would you 
small boy. I... I... There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. From I was told to Donegal. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. What kind of guard just chucks his gun down and is like, yeah, go for it. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Aye, with a name like Hamish, I couldn't have fucking guessed that. And I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they went outside of a Scottish ancestry is called Hamish. Just over here. Fucking not surprised they just called his surname McTavish. So I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. <laughs> Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. It's like a proper little drunken giggle. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horses like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can get the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. <coughs> ah, sorry, Hamish. Okay. Hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. When people got ridiculous yeah, laughs, you, you can't help but laugh at it. And then because you laugh at it, everyone laughs, and then the laugh gets worse. Which then makes people laugh more. It's always a good thing. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> These boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred running down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Should we just like, sure. chill here? See you later. You hear that? Hero. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. And yeah. It's good 
splatter. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. For the minshane. Just stay over there. Must have been the wind. That one. We can zip across here. Just gonna do like the rest of it. Me, Sean, add the bar. Forty eight cents. I'll give you four sodas. Just chuck it in there. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. Somebody shoot him already. Long arm. Oh. Shit. I'm having to pull back a little bit. Sprint, 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 sprint. You're dead, you son of a bitch. Ah. 
How are you supposed to see anything in there? Jumping on that one. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right, follow me. Oh, we're right into the flames again. Where are you riding to, Sean? Sean managed to nail the other one pretty well. We need to replace the other gun. Sold down, the horse is going to start struggling in a second. I think we lost him. I think That's so too. Quite a night. Ah, we just burnt all the fields. Put us into the of here. Uh, you missed that. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. We need to switch out our other pistol. Hey! Normal things, just burning tobacco fields. What other pastimes are you supposed to do? What's up, Sire? Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. As long as we got a decent pay. Total take A50. Yeah, we get 212. That's not that bad. There's the fields within two minutes. Kill five grays during the escape. Eh. 850 is still not that bad. And I appreciate that uh, subscriber was on the YouTubes. Uh, right, let's ditch this horse and grab Bartholomew. Okay, never mind. Guess we'll just jump on. Ah, so you do one or the other. Okay. You don't you don't do both missions. So we went with the field burning. All right, then I guess we go talk to Dutch. Uh, for you also what? Uh, we're in Scotland. Hence the the uh, the comment about the dig that they had: that Scotland being drunks and degenerates. Uh, you already did this. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's an old game. We've just never done the playthrough. What's up, Dutch? Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, 
I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who And what he knows. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. I mean, Charles is pretty good. She's just walking around in her underwear. I think. Is that what that was? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay, then, girl. Right, to troll on this location. Okay. And then we'll need to try and do some hunting at some point, get some of the legendaries. See what's what with them. See if we can. Am I right? ear if I cough and sneeze and yawn it hurts. Like at the same time? I mean that's impressive. The Trelawney missions are usually interesting. Oh he has a caravan. Let's take a look. Get, get up the stairs. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Check the drawer. What do you think? I think there's wood to be had. You see anything there? Test this Kilgore Mining Company. You eagle eyes, search for clues. Not surprised that he's got uh, snake oil. Bed's not made, so he's been here recently. Who the fuck makes a bed? Big struggle. Nice Pretty recently, here. I'd say. I guess maybe uh, twelve hours ago. But no body. Come on. Oh, the horses moved themselves. I thought when to do that. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right. I guess. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No. The track's only 12 hours old. This could be following anyone. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way. The order of your bed. The fuck you mean? They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Mr. Marson? Still ain't sure about that. They could be 20 miles from here. They're here. Hey, Arthur. Uh, let's go see what those fellas have to say. Talk to the men. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you 
you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. There's a cane there, though. Nah. He uses a mm. cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Get some. Who do you think you are? Get him, Charles. Get him. Over a mixture of the both, Tyro. It's very. It's, I like to loot things, so I lose it. But I usually try to help people. We're not going to kill him, Mr. Marston. Not yet. But we will give him a traumatic brain injury. Ah, one punch and he talks. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right, we killed him. Right. That do it. Yeah, it's a thing. If you don't make your bed, the atmosphere around and in your bed doesn't change from the distressing from the night before. That can cause you to not get a restful sleep and heal. All right, so I'll be completely open with you, Val. Come on, let's go. To me, that's absolute bullshit. But I'll try that because I know that Gwen's into that kind of stuff and it may help her. I sleep like I'm dead. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you then. I get in the bed and I'm out. Gwen not so much. So I'll try that for her benefit. What do you think they want with that thing that's nonsense. Because I'm very much not a believer in all those things. But we know this. We've had this conversation and I find it interesting but I'm very much skeptical. So make the bed, and it can cause you not to get a restless sleep and heal. At least I don't think he does. Wouldn't surprise me, the whole Feng Shui thing. The order of a room and whatnot. It would make sense for it to be a Japanese thing. But I think with the honor system, Tyro, we're kind of hovering towards higher honor. But we're still in the middle. At the end of the conversation? Okay. Uh, you're supposed to take the blanket off your bed for a minute to let the bed reset, but it's all about your intention. Gwen can't do it, I'm in the bed. I want to try the high honor, but I like to look things. Sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to bust them out. Over there, with the first guard. Ah. We need to find these bastards. 
Did she say look for where the birds are? Fucking looking. Damn these sons of bitches. Come on. We got one more, Charles. Are you split off this way? The birds, the birds. Worst game of hide and seek. He's naked? Charles. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Oh, this was some money. The gunshots are coming from that farm. Come on. There's one. Oh, that's the plan. I can get that second shot on him. Who's coughing that hard in the back? That is Gwen. Spicy air. Rectal bridge. Which is okay. It just. It it sounds bad. But she's okay. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse See, than this. she's okay. Mm, so I heard. It but it does sound bad. Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Penny Hunter's got some good money on them, though. Out the way, Charles. Come on, man. I hate my hat. You okay? They were finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. Who? They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course. They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. 
It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. And then what are we doing? There always seems to be more. Oh, more journal time. Civilization. I want to get back in the old Here you go. In the West, or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. Magicians for sport. While tracking, you stay within 30 feet of troll on his trail. Kill two hunters in the corn pose in a minute. Ah, well. And what do we still have here? We've got... Ah, the Marston quest. And then we've got something from Micah and Trelawney. So we've got a few missions. I could just put the rear rolling block rifle. Which we can't check just now because we can't use weapons. However, that is a time for another day. Whenever it is we end up doing this game. Um, so, yeah. As I said earlier, we're going to be checking out uh, South Park Snow Day when we're next back on, on Wednesday. Because we're having to work Tuesday, so we can't do the day stream. We should be back on this evening with more Helldivers. To anyone who's wanting to come and join us for that. Um, we'll have, from the sounds of things, we'll have Crispy. We might have Val. We will maybe have Shorty. Don't know. But we'll be doing Helldivers, I think, if everyone's playing. And that's always good for a laugh. Killing bugs and whatnot. And uh, seeing what's what. There hasn't been an update as far as I can see, so that art bug is still going to be a thing. But maybe it'll be updated, I guess, by the time I get one. Uh, so yes, there there will be some good things with uh, with Hell Divers. As I said, we're working tomorrow. Don't know if we'll stream Tuesday night, and then we'll be back with uh, Snow Day on Wednesday, which is the new South Park game focusing around the new kids and all the fantasy scene that South Park has. So it's all the myth and magic with the uh, with the kids. So that should be funny. It's I hope it's still written and voiced by uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. It's developed by Nordic, I think THQ Nordic. So yeah, it's it. I'm looking forward to it. It should be good for a change. However, that is on Wednesday. So yes, we will see you then, Tyro. I appreciate you uh, coming through and giving us that follow and whatnot. Um, and yeah, if you want anyone wants to join us for Hell Divers this evening, it is at the usual time of about half past ten. Until then, I'm going to go do some housework, have some food, and chill out with Gwen for a few hours. Until then, you have a good one, and we will see you very soon. Bye. That was the wrong button.